Am I wrong for demanding a refund on drinks I bought a stripper? I regularly visit a gentleman's club in my area and for the past few months I've been seeing one particular dancer, Tiffany. In addition to tipping her and getting dances, I buy Tiffany at least one drink every shift. She always requests the same thing, a screwdriver made with a certain brand of vodka. A while back, I went in and Tiffany sat with me as usual. I ordered Tiffany's drink from the barmaid and got one for myself as well. But when I sipped it, I didn't taste any alcohol at all, despite having seen the barmaid pour from the same bottle she used to make Tiffany's drink. Tiffany excused herself to freshen up and after the barmaid walked away, I grabbed the bottle and poured some into the empty glass. As I suspected, it wasn't vodka, it was plain water. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> this just sounds so fucking funny to me. When Tiffany came back, I asked if we could go in the back for a dance. When she sat on my lap, I asked her about the fake vodka. I told her I knew it was really water. She tried to tell me it was a one-time thing because she's visiting her sick grandma tomorrow and doesn't want to be too hungover. I pressed her and asked her if she'd been getting water shots the entire time we've been seeing each other. She finally admitted that she's a more- What? <laughs> what? <laughs> she finally admitted that she's a Mormon and doesn't drink alcohol at all. I admit that I got pretty upset about how she lied, so she called the bouncer and I got kicked out. When I tried to go back, I was told that I've been permanently banned from the club. I told him I wanted to speak to a manager and he threatened to kick my ass into next fucking week if I didn't leave. I told him I was basically frauded and that I wouldn't demand any money back for the aborted lap dance, but I wanted a refund on every drink I was tricked into buying for Tiffany. I've been seeing her every Friday and Saturday, plus a few other weeknights from time to time. So even assuming I only bought her two drinks on Friday and Saturdays, that puts me at two drinks times two nights a week times 20 weeks, which equals 80 drinks. Every screwdriver is $12, so that puts me at $960 spent on nothing but orange juice and water. He called me a youths and hung up, but they haven't heard the end of this. Am I the asshole? What's a youths? I'm gonna Google it. What's a youths? Youths! Oh, okay, a foolish, incompetent, awkward, and compatible person. I've always been slightly terrified of childbirth. My husband and I were planning on starting a family, but I've changed my mind. How do I tell him? I've always been terrified of childbirth. My husband knows this. It gives me the creeps, but I have a strong mind over matter brain, and I always wanted children more than I was scared of doing it. However, last week, a good friend of mine from high school died in childbirth. Her mother made the post, and honestly, I don't know what to say. It sounded horrific. I've tried looking at pictures of babies. I love babies, but I feel nothing. In fact, more negative feelings than positive. We were planning on starting to try this month, and I've just been avoiding him. This is so big. But I had always been traveling this fine line of fear, and this finally knocked me over. I don't know how to tell him. I don't think I will want to do this ever. I know I was afraid before, but it has never felt like this. So, how do I tell him? We've been married for six years, like blissfully happy, and just decided to start a family. It's going to hurt him so bad, and I don't know what to do. Am I the asshole for taking my dog to a specific neighbor's yard to go to the bathroom? Backstory. We live in an HOA subdivision, and they demand that we keep our yard nice, including eliminating weeds and unappealing spots in the yard, which is caused by dogs going to the bathroom. The neighbor beside me brings her medium-sized dog to my yard and lets it go. Last week, I was coming home and spotted her, and I rolled my window down and said, Ma'am, can you please not let your dog go in my yard or clean it up? She immediately tried to tell me that she was going in her yard, so I pointed to the boundary line stake and assured her that, in fact, her dog was going on my property. She tripped over her words at this point and said, Well, I don't want him going in my yard. I remained calm and said, ma'am, I've worked really hard to keep my yard nice, and there are chemical sprays on my yard that are not safe for dogs. Not to mention that I have a large Rottweiler, and he stays in my house or in the backyard if he's outside. She gets huffy and leaves. 20 minutes ago, I'm preparing to check the mail, and at this point, I see her letting her dog poop directly in front of my house. I leashed up my Rottweiler and Chihuahua, and I go for a walk in her front yard where my chihuahua takes a Great Dane-sized poop and I waved at her camera and walked back inside. My husband says I'm being petty, but I pay $140 a month for my lung to look nice. Am I the asshole? First, let me start by saying that I love my sister. I understand that she's not responsible for her actions and I don't want to see anyone bad-mouthing her in the comments. 
I, 24 female, have been married to my husband, 23 male, for two years now, dating for four. After the first Christmas he spent with me and my family, I did my best to avoid spending the holidays with them. We usually make the excuse that my husband is an only child and go visit his parents. When my sister, 30 female, was 17 years old, she was in a horrific car accident. She was in a coma for three weeks, spent months in physical and speech therapy, and worst of all, ended up suffering with the doctor says hypersexuality. I won't get into details, but some of her behaviors are not suited for the public and they are not voluntary. The doctor has tried multiple meds and she's still in therapy, but nothing seems to work. It cost my sister almost all of her friends, multiple jobs, and she's unable to have meaningful relationships so far. The thing is, whenever my husband visits, it seems to get worse. My husband is attractive and it's obvious that she's attracted to him. Neither of us blames her for that. But if we spend any extended period with her, things become very uncomfortable. This year, my in-laws are going to be in Europe during Christmas, so my parents were very excited thinking that we'll be able to spend it with them. I ended up telling them that we'd be spending it on our own, but that I will be visiting Christmas Day for a couple hours. They were upset, kept insisting to know why we avoid them. I finally said that we don't want to spend the whole holiday trying to redirect my sister's behavior or trying to dispel the awkwardness when we couldn't. That's when they called me an ableist a-hole. Then they went and told my sister what I said, and now she's crying saying that I was just like everyone else, that I was also slut-shaming her, even though I know she doesn't do it on purpose. So, am I in the wrong for refusing to spend Christmas with my family because my sister will be there? Would I be the asshole for not inviting my auntie who didn't invite me to her wedding for mine? So my auntie got married 10 years ago and had a no young kids rule. Me and my younger cousin were the only ones left out as everyone else was 18 and above. The only child free wedding in the family thus far. Her celebration was supposedly a blast and to this day we keep hearing stories from our older cousins about the bonding experience they shared since we all stay in different parts of the country and some even out of the country. I'm getting married in 2024 and in one of the best states of the country. We are also flying in all out of state family, kids and all. It is expensive but we both earn enough and it's a once in a lifetime celebration and we have four years to save. I still haven't gotten over the fact that our aunt didn't invite me even though I believe we were old enough to behave. I don't want to invite my aunt or pay for her tickets and stay even though I'm doing it for all other aunts and uncles. Would I be the asshole if I go ahead with my plan not to invite her? My mother thinks I should should let the issue go, but my younger cousin supports me. Am I the asshole for letting my 14 year old wear flip flops when the bride requested heels? So my daughter, 14, was invited to be a bridesmaid at my niece's wedding last minute. One of the bridesmaids backed out and they needed a replacement to make it even. Everyone was instructed to wear silver heels. My daughter has never worn heels but agreed to try for the wedding. The night before the wedding, my daughter goes to the wedding location at the backyard of my aunt's house where we were staying and tests her walking in heels. The aisle is a DIY job of brick done by my aunt many years ago. Not stable or easy to walk on, especially in heels. My daughter starts freaking out because she can't walk on it, but I assure her that she just needs to practice. The day of the wedding comes and she has a near panic attack and begs me to wear her flip-flops. They are a basic pair of old navy flip-flops, but they are silver. I finally give in and say, yeah, it's probably safest and will avoid you falling in front of everyone. The wedding goes on and all is good. Until the pictures come back and the bride realizes my daughter is in flip-flops in the pictures of her walking down the aisle. You can't tell she's wearing flip-flops in the formal pics where she's standing. She texts me demanding explanations, but she didn't like what I had to say. She's clearly upset with us, and I'm just wondering if I did something really wrong, letting my daughter wear the flip-flops. I'm an asshole for refusing to forgive my sister-in-law after she says that she has changed. My sister-in-law bullied me and nobody believed me. She always made sure to do it when I was alone and where no one could see. It was frustrating because my brother took it as I didn't like her, and I don't blame him for that because I did decide to document everything. However, after a while, I waited specifically until an important family gathering and took years of the bullying and showed it to everyone. She could not deny it and broke down in tears saying that she didn't mean it and that she was sorry. The whole family was mad and my brother threatened divorce unless she agreed to therapy and marriage counseling. She went to intense therapy to work out her issues and then she tried to make amends but I don't care. She was, in my words, a horrible, spiteful biatch and I distanced myself from everyone. Christmas is coming up but my family wants me to forgive my sister-in-law as it seems that she has done well in therapy. I said I do not care if she changed as she's barely trying to make amends and just gives excuses. All she said was literally sorry five times. Even my brother does not forgive her but my parents want me to. So am I the bad guy for not wanting to forgive her? 